Hey, good morning. I wanted to get on here and show you my new phone case. This is called a loopy case. And see, it's got this loop that's attached to it. So you can stick your finger through it. They make it for people who want to hold their phones in their left hands or they make a right hand or they make a, you know, a version where you can use either hand. But it's, oh, <laughs> Okay, come back. All right. I, you know, I'm, I'm seeing myself in the phone, and I'm seeing myself in the mirror, and I want to show you how the phone can uh, just hang from my finger, and I don't lose it. I can even make it circle around, you know, like the gunslingers that swing their guns around. <laughs> but if I do that, you can't see it because you're in the phone. Anyway. Um, if you're interested in it, it's a really great case. It gives you so much security because, you know, you can hold it, but if you let go, it's not going to fall out of your hand. Anyway, okay. There we go. All righty. So, um, I may need to get off quickly this morning because in my apartment complex, they're installing a fiber optic cable you know, for internet and TV and stuff like that. And um, let me just get my phone in the stand here. Um, oh, sorry, hang on. Get in there, you. Okay, because of that loop, um, I have a little sort of, there's a, like a slot in my phone stand, so I wanna push it through there to hold it on there well. Anyhow, so, um, yeah, I might need to um, jump off of here in case the fiber optic people need to come in. But anyway, so, yeah, I'm wearing a new shirt this morning. It says, making it up as I go. Because I know, you know, like that has implications of you don't know what you're doing, so you're just kind of making it up as you go. But for me... <laughs> Um, and it can also have implications of, um, you know, kind of taking things as they come and figuring out what to do, trying to make good choices, um, because you never know what's going to happen in life. You make your plans and things don't, you know, something changes, things don't turn out the way you plan them to, and you got to shift or pivot or you know, jump forward, backwards to the side. Um, you got to be flexible, in other words. So I like the color. I like the design. I like the saying. So I got this from that Natural Life Company. Um, so, you know, it just makes me happy. Anyhow, um, so I, hope, I hope that in your life you have an opportunity to make some choices that make you happy, that bring you happiness. Oh, Gary says, you're a phone slinger. That's right, the loopy case, L-O-O-P-Y case. <laughs> I think it's loopycase.com might be the website. They have all these videos of people walking along and then they go, you know, and their phone spins around into their hand, <laughs> kind of like a gunslinger kind of thing. Well, anyway, so, um, need to make some coffee this morning. You know, I, before I do that, I just want to say a couple of things, okay? Since I have been talking about dealing with mental health and dealing with like some problems I've been having, adjusting to some medications and having a really bad reaction to one of them, um, which I'm still <laughs> dealing with. It's okay, Grayson. I'm still dealing with, but I'm um, hope, you know, it seems to be gradually getting better. I just want to say, I talk a lot about people making good choices. And of course, that all depends on your ability to make a choice, right? Sometimes we find ourselves in a place like if we're all anxious or panicky, we just got to get through the situation. Um, I hope that you're not experiencing that. 
But if you are, you know, you do what you need to do. If, however, you have the ability to make good choices and you're not making them, maybe that's something to think about. You know, like Google the drama triangle. If you don't know about the drama triangle, it might help you in your personal life and your relationships to learn about that. I'm not going to talk about it right now because I want to make some coffee. Let me just get a little drink here. I'm drinking Canada Dry Zero Ginger Ale with a little splash of raspberry sugar-free syrup. Um, anyhow, but now I'm going to get on to drinking some coffee. Let's see here. Oh, okay. I think, well, you know, I think I'm going to have kind of a small, oh no, I know here. This mug, okay. This mug actually relates to what I was talking about. This is the Pessimist's mug. I got it from despair.com many years ago. And here, I'll turn the phone around. See what it says? Okay, you know how people talk about, you know, to an optimist, the glass is half full to the pessimist. The glass is half empty. So this, you know, just kind of tickles me that it says, this glass is now half empty. Um, but so much in life depends on how you look at things. You know, what your point of view is. And you have control over that. You know, if you're in a position to say, be a complainer and be negative and be like a Debbie Downer, or if you're in a position to say, oh, okay, these things happen. What are some things that are going well? What are some things that I can be grateful for? Actually, trying to think about positive stuff affects your brain chemistry and it makes you feel better overall. It really does. I mean, this has been proven, you know, scientifically proven. So um, it's in your best interest to try to think some happy thoughts and look at things in a, in a positive way. You know, I don't want to turn this because of the fan going. Well, maybe if I'm standing here, it'll block it. I know sometimes that bothers some people. Let me put this book away. All righty now. Let's get some coffee here. You know, I think... Oh, my goodness. You know, I have not had any double espresso scuro for a while. Oh. Gee whiz. Do I need to open up a new... Oh, here. Is this some? Yes. Okay. Double espresso scuro. So this is... 2.7 ounces, uh, single espresso is 1.35 ounces, and this is a nice, strong, flavorful coffee. I really like, whoa, I really like this. I don't want the phone to fall down. Now that I have this new case, I need to set it up differently on my stand. And let me go turn those lights off so the fan won't bother whoever it bothers. Is that better? <laughs> anyway, so here goes my coffee. Oh, you know, if you're having trouble keeping a positive attitude, Maybe try to think of just one thing when you start your day where you can make a choice for something that makes you happy. Like, I know this coffee stuff always makes me happy, you know? So it's sort of, when I'm having it, it distracts me from 
the unhappy negative stuff and then that can help you you know kind of just make that little shift um the, i'm going to run this through one more time do you remember when you were in school and you were studying geometry probably a lot of people don't want to remember that i did well in math but i didn't like it <laughs> um so let's see we're all right here's um okay. here's two knives all right so this would be um here's like this is a 90 degree angle okay a right angle all right so let's say if if two people start off right here okay and they start walking well right here they're right close together but as they walk, the one that's going up, the one that's going out, they're gonna get you know, further and further away from each other, aren't they? So let's say that in the morning, you're starting off right here and you have a choice. It's a heavy knives to have to hold, okay? All you need to do is just sort of make a little shift and instead of ending up this way, you can end up that way. It's kind of like, okay. When you first start out, how can I show it? Can I show it like this? This is very hard for art to illustrate. All right, so here's our angle, okay? Here's our, this are like our right angle, okay? Like a 45 degree angle, all right? <laughs> so when you first start out in a direction in the morning, you know, when you're over here or over here, pretty close together. But the further you walk along, you know, whichever path you've chosen, by the time you get out this far or this far, pretty far away from where you started, okay? What I'm trying to say is, if you make a small shift in the morning to your attitude, it can take you to a totally different place as your day goes along, all right? Uh, think about that one. If you totally don't understand what I was saying, uh, send me a, a, a personal mess, a, what are they, a PM, you know, personal message, and uh, I'll explain it better, okay? I'll send you a drawing or something. But the point is that it's a lot easier to make a change when you start your day to start it right than, you know, to be going through your day and having a just negative attitudes and, you know, your day is not going well. It, it's harder to make a change then in your momentum that carries you through the day than it is if you can start it off right. So try to find something that makes you happy. Mm. Happy. And also it really is helpful. I know you hear this from other people too and I'm gonna say it again. Before you do anything in the morning, before you get out of bed. Hush Grayson, hush puppy. the people are working out back. Um, think of three things that you're grateful for, that you're thankful for. You know, even if they're not something that's happening right now in your life, maybe it's something in the past. That's okay. That counts. Anything that you're grateful for, that'll just give you a better start to your day, a better chance to have a good day. And when you're having a good day, you are better able to make good, healthy, happy, positive choices, get along with people better, have more patience, you know, stuff like that. I'm rooting for you.